So as the pandemic has shown us, we've had to really adjust the way that we both work and study. So working environments for both interpreters and translators have changed, but also from a university perspective, we've had to adjust the way that we teach students. So for interpreting students, it's really impossible to put them in hospitals and courtrooms at the moment. So virtual reality allows us to simulate the experiences that interpreters will have in courtrooms, in medical settings, in policing and in counselling scenarios. So we believe that this will give our students the best possible edge as graduates working in the industry. Working in a family violence setting, which is the first scenario that Monash have created, it allows us to immerse our interpreters, immerse students into these most complex, stressful situations. We may have a job that comes through for an interpreter to be at one o'clock in the morning in a family home. You might have the perpetrator there, the victim who requires the interpreting, children, police, an incredibly complex and nuanced situation. The biggest challenge is not knowing what you're up against. For me, that is the point of intake, which is when survivors of family violence initially seek help. It is at this point that they are asked to describe the acts of violence committed against them in graphic detail. This can be mentally taxing and emotionally draining. VR offers interpreters the opportunity to challenge themselves in a safe and supported environment. So the students will be able to put the headset on and then they will be exposed to some scenarios. They will be exposed once they enter the job market. For example, the courtroom or healthcare settings. So once they go out there in the real life situation, they will feel less pressure. They will be able to choose between a few answers that will pop up on the screen and that will give them more confidence. Courtrooms are a very formal setting and expectations are quite high. So VR is the closest interpreters can get to real life situations, which will make them better prepared for interpreting assignments in these settings. The actual interpreting is only one part of that situation. It is managing the, the rest of the parties and navigating that, that incredibly complex and, and stressful situation. So I guess it will allow interpreters to overcome that initial reluctance they may have to even accept these assignments. And we need interpreters working in these areas. We've seen a huge growth in, unfortunately, in, in things like family violence. So the more we can prepare interpreters, the better. Well, today is a really exciting day because we're doing the filming for our virtual reality training project. So we've got a range of translation and interpreting studies students helping us out today, as well as colleagues from the law faculty and eSolutions. And what we're doing is we're filming a courtroom scenario, a family violence victim survivor, the perpetrator, the magistrate, as well as the duty lawyers, etc. And we're able to film this in the wonderful moot court that exists in the Monash Law Faculty today. As a student, I wish this project would have been uh, developed earlier because that allowed interpreting students to train and to feel a bit more familiar with some contexts such as legal interpreting, such as right now the courtroom or healthcare interpreting. So that's been a great highlight, being part of this VR project. Well, this is a world first. So we're the first institution in the world to be undertaking virtual reality training for interpreters. This has come about through an industry collaboration. So we're working with Vitz Language Loop to deliver this project. I think the other important piece is it's actually going to be used. It's not just a piece of research. We're going to be putting it into practice and use immediately. So there's just huge benefit from us coming together to continue as a partnership, raising the bar and, and delivering these kind of incredibly innovative programs. We believe that this will give our students an edge over others, having had access to simulated interpreting environments whilst studying as part of the master's degree.